Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. So students, today I feel like traveling. Now let's go somewhere. Where shall we go? Shall we try going to Dubai? Okay, so if I want to go to Dubai, what do I need? Which uh, I need a passport, I need visa, I need tickets. And which mode of transport will I take? Yes, the aeroplane, right? So today's topic is all about transportation and communication, okay? So let's see what are the modes of transport we have and how we can use it wisely, okay? Now, initially, when we started with transport system, what was there? Bullock carts, camel rides or cycles, rickshaws and buses, all these different kinds of vehicles were there. But today we have developed a lot, right? So we are going to study all of it, okay? Now the most convenient uh, type of uh, transportation is land transport. Why? Because we can, you know, travel in different regions, in mountains or deserts or plains, everywhere we can travel, right? On the land. That's why land transport is the most convenient one. Now in land transport, we have roadways and railways, okay? Now in roadways, Let's see how India's roadways are, okay? Now, from state to state if we have to go. Now, I'm talking about state to state. Means, from Karnataka if I want to move to Maharashtra, okay? For instance, I will take the NH highway, okay? National highway will be taken. Because national highways connect from one state to another, okay? National highway connects from state to state. And it is looked after by central government, okay? Now, the central government looks after the national highway, like uh, how it is, its condition and everything is looked after central government. Then we have state highway. Now, state highway is looked after the state. Now, the state maintains it. And what it does, it sees that all the cities are connected. Now, we also have uh, quadrilateral multi-lane highways, okay, which connects four main cities, Mumbai, Chennai, Kolkata, Delhi, okay. Now, uh, it is the golden quadrilateral, it is six lane and it is a expressway, okay, people can travel very fast over there. Now, six lane, eight lanes are huge uh, roadways, okay. Now, it's a freeway or expressway, we say, okay, and uh, traffic travels, uh, you know, it moves very fast in that. Now in European countries they are more advanced and more uh, better roadways are there and in Germany the uh, roadways are called autobahns. Okay. Next we have the railways. Now railways began from the time of Britishers. Okay. Like 1853 the first railway structure was built. Now the railways connect to each and every city in our country. Okay. It connects to almost all parts of the country. And important railways are also electrified. Okay. They have improved a lot. Now, the distance between this is called gauge. Okay. Now, before it was just one meter gauge. Now, the gauges have broadened. Okay. It has improved. We also have suburban trains which run on electricity in Mumbai, Kolkata, Chennai. And we have freight trains which carry goods. Okay. Steam engines also carry goods and railways are divided in zones, okay, different zones are made so that they function easily, okay, and each zone has a general manager to look after it. Railway board in New Delhi has, uh, you know, it controls the working of railways, okay. Now in Japan and Europe, they have super fast trains, like Japan has this bullet train which travels very fast. It's very famous. And in uh, Germany, China, they're trying for this maglev train, magnetic leviation train. What it means that it, you know, it connects with this magnetic force and when it runs, when the train runs, it runs a few milliliter, millimeters above the tracks, okay? So that they get a smooth ride. And uh, railways in France and England are linked by channel tunnel and uh, so this was about railways next we have the waterways now in waterways what vehicles are used used motorboats ferries steamers in big rivers like ganga brahmaputra all these 
flow ok all these run these boats etc. Then we have this passenger boats or cargo boats which carry lots of heavy uh, equipments and you know furniture from one place to the other and uh, we also have coastal shipping used by passengers from Goa and between Goa and Mumbai ok. Now what is this? This is Swiss canal. Now Swiss canal means a canal was made to shorten the area ok. Now before from uh, this is for sea route ok. Now from Mumbai to London if they had to go they had to take a long cut from here from Africa and they had to reach here. So what they did they made a shortcut here ok. They made this canal here and it became short this road see this is longer right and this is shorter. So this was a shortcut made to Europe from India ok it is called Swiss canal. It was made in 1869. Then next Panama canal was also made. This was made uh, to make a shortcut between the Atlantic Ocean and Pacific Ocean ok. This was the shortcut made and before they were travelling like this a big round they had to take. Now travelling in waterways takes months long ok. People uh, have to travel on the boat for months together. It is a long process. So to make it more easier they have done this. Still it takes months but better than this long cut ok. So this was about the waterways. Remember Swiss canal and Panama canal. Then next we have airways. We are all familiar with airways right. We all love to travel by air. Now travelling by air is expensive and faster whereas travelling by waterways or land transport is cheaper and it takes a longer time ok. Now if you travel by roadways also to Bangalore it will take 8 hours right. Now the same thing in aeroplane you will reach in 1 hour but again it is expensive ok. It is faster and it is expensive. Now we have domestic airports and international airports also, international flights. Now what is domestic flight? Domestic means inside our country. Now inside like from Karnataka if I am going to Kerala or any other state for instance ok. If I am going to Kashmir it is all domestic flights we will take and if I want to travel international, if I want to go to Qatar, Dubai, London. I will take international flights ok that is outside India. So this was about the airways ok. Now let us see communication ok. Now before in olden days in caves they used to draw pictures and they used to communicate. Then slowly it progressed and people also started communicating through birds ok. Pigeons they were uh, writing small things you know notes on pigeons and they were telling them to go and give it to the other person and the pigeon was so well trained that it also used to go and give it to the other person ok. So nowadays we do not need to do that right. We have many more new ways to communicate. Then they started with drums ok. With drums they used to make loud sounds and they used to attract many people and they used to communicate whatever they want to say ok. And they used to also give smoke signals ok. Like they used to make this fire and create a big smoke and the whole village or you know all the people used to gather and then they used to communicate. So and then they also had runners ok. Now uh, people used to appoint runners like you know they will give them a letter and that person has to run very fast and go and give it to the uh, other person the letter ok. Like maybe in a village from one village to another village that man used to run and go and give the letters. Then post offices came then village post offices were also made like you know first the post offices came in the cities then in the rural areas villages also now everybody has post offices ok. The parcel or money order anything everything is reached to every nook and corner of the country. Now we also have quick mail, speed posts ok, all this developed time by time. Telegrams to send instant messages and telephones. Now in telephones we have you seen PCO is written PCO, STD, ISD, have you wondered what it is? Now PCO means public calling office ok, PCO. 
then std means subscriber tele trunk dialing subscriber trunk dialing now std calls are made within the country okay now from uh, karnataka if i call to maharashtra or uh, tamil nadu kerala any other other states all that is std calls okay now isd is international subscriber dialing isd means international calling okay we uh, like from india i'm calling to london uk or uh, any other place qatar doha dubai so all those places it is international calling okay then we have the cell phones now cell phones everybody knows right we all have cell phones uh then this is all about communication okay now we also have mass communication now communication and mass communication are two different things in communication it is one to one person also we communicate okay now mass communication is through tv radio you know one person is telling and the whole society or the whole world can also listen okay through newspapers magazines all this come under mass communication radio now supposing cricket commentary now cricket is going on in some stadium in london but here in india also we listen to the commentary okay then we have internet facilities also nowadays right now internet is very popular google anything you want to know you type it in google or you say it in google and it will tell you everything about it right the whole information is there you don't have to run around for it okay and it's more convenient than an encyclopedia also now for a encyclopedia we have to look for it right now in google in an instant we get all the messages so today we have covered transport system and communication okay in transport we have land transport waterways airways and in communication we have developed tremendously now read your textbooks thoroughly jazakumullah khairan